Hello everyone and welcome to the Vortex where lies and falsehoods are trapped and exposed. I'm Michael Voris. It's now a historical certainty. The Enlightenment was doomed to fail and the consequences for morality and by extension society at large of that failure have been tragic. Lacking its former objective foundations rooted in Catholic moral teaching, morality, the ethical rules, began to break down. In the place of the former consensus, a plurality of wide-ranging ethical rules emerged for the purpose of guiding men in nearly limitless different conceptions of morality. As Benedict homilized during the interregnum in 2005, quote, we are moving towards a dictatorship of relativism which does not recognize anything as for certain and which has as its highest goal one's own ego and one's own desires, end quote. Good for you, Benedict. What has been visited on the Western society is a torrent of self-destruction in the form of hundreds of millions of surgical abortions, further untold deaths in utero from chemical abortions and contraceptive abortifacients, the advancement of new and deformed understandings of family and sexual rights. These have all been upheld by numerous court rulings and confirmed countless times by electorate after electorate all over that part of the world, formerly called Christendom. The advent of contraception was hailed as a liberation for women, but was rightly seen by Pope Paul VI in his landmark encyclical Humanae Vitae as the forerunner of a cataclysm that would result in broken homes, the objectification of women, abandoned children and mothers, and a host of other cultural disasters. In the past 50 years, entire populations have been altered to such a degree that the tidal wave is now sweeping through the economies of Western nations. The lack of sufficient numbers of consumers to sustain the engines of economic growth and provide a promise for older generations of a semblance of security is only now beginning to be felt. The generation now beginning to retire will exhaust all its medical and financial resources as well as borrow heavily from the ever-shrinking generations in its wake. All of this has been confirmed over and over again in study after study by such agencies as the United Nations examining such issues as demographic winter and underpopulation resulting from population aging. The attempted suicide of Western civilization is in full bore and it's all owing to the decoupling of reason and faith, virtues and ethics from their former firm grounding in Catholic moral and intellectual thought. This has been the clarion call from Benedict. Europe, rediscover yourself. A man named Benedict once laid the groundwork for Europe to navigate through the dark ages. History often repeats itself. I'm Michael Voris. Please help us keep delivering these kinds of messages that so desperately need to be heard and acted on. Join RealCatholicTV.com today as a premium subscriber. Become immersed in the faith established by Jesus Christ. The Catholic Church is the only hope against evil because that is its God-given mission. As our Lord said, Apart from me, you can do nothing. Join RealCatholicTV.com today as a premium subscriber and come to learn and love Christ more deeply.